Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. Today we're going to do two spashcock chickens and a bunch of chicken legs all on the Smoky Cajun Bandit. Here I'm going to have this set up with my five rack system with a couple birds on the top, some chicken legs on the bottom and I'm not going to run the water pan at all just straight from the fire. So just like as if I was hanging the meat I'm going to just put them on the racks and let it go. I had a subscriber that requested I do this cook because he wants to see how it does because he wants to do it. So I said, sure, let's do it. And I do apologize for this video um, taking so long to get done. I've been sick for the past, well, two weeks anyway, but I would say technically three because I'm going on my third week and I've lost my voice. And that's why you guys noticed I haven't done any videos. And I do apologize for that. So stay tuned, and we will get this show on the road. All right, everybody. So here's all I'm going to do is use a Kingsford's blue bag. Here I'm using my Cajun banded extended ring. Go ahead and pour about a half a bag in here. That looks good to me. All I'm gonna do here is take a couple of these lighter cubes, place them right in the middle. And normally I use wood chunks, but not today. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these babies fired up. This here is a test to see how these chicken pieces, or the chicken legs and the spatchcock chicken will work if I could get this lit. There we go. Uh, to see how it cooks on this five rack system. It's technically an eight rack system because I could put three racks over on the center section and then the five racks are on the top. But what I am experimenting here is just the top five with the all that chicken on there and see how it turns out. All right, everybody. I already placed all the chicken on the racks. And as you can see, we do have space in between each one. And on the very bottom here, we have the hot. And then that's my hot rub, I should say. <clears throat> and here is Sal's from Root Boy Cooks. That's his rub on them two racks there. And moving up, this is the Cosmo Q's Dirty Rub, which I won on a giveaway at Cooking with James, his 1500 subscriber giveaway. So he sent me the Dirty Bird and I am going to use it and try it out for the first time. So as you guys can see down there, I am not using the water pan as a diffuser, just straight direct to the coals see how this works out okay guys so what we're going to do as you can see i got my five racks full of the chicken got my two spatchcocks on the top all the chicken legs on the bottom as i said before we are running no water pan just fire and meat let's go ahead and get this ring put on We'll get our modified Weber kettle lid put on here. For right now, I'm gonna crack these, oh, I'd say about halfway. That'll equal the full vent if it was on the one side here. Um, we're looking for internal temps of about 300, 325. All right, everybody. I'd like to give a special thanks to James over at Cooking with James for Letting me win this Cosmo Q's Dirty Bird. I've been dying to try this stuff, and now I will. It has a great smell, obviously a great color. I heard great things about this company. So thank you, Mr. James. And I'd like to give a shout out to Sal over at Root Boy Cooks. Um, this here is his Root Boy Rub number one. This is the beef and bison, and here we have his root boy rub number two, which is his uh, chicken and pork um, rub. 
I have two brand new bottles that I, well actually I purchased about eight bottles from them and to do giveaways on this channel. So today we're also going to do a giveaway on two brand new bottles of the Root Boy Cooks rub number one and rub number two. And if you haven't already, please go subscribe to his channel. To actually, to both of their channels. Uh, Root Boy Cooks and Cooking with James. All right, everybody. Sorry for the wind. It's starting to get really windy out here. Hopefully my camera doesn't blow over. A little chilly out here. But what we're going to do is, first I'll just tell you, we've been averaging about 300 degrees here and about 250 degrees at the top throughout this entire cook we are one hour in and we're going to take a look and get a temperature on them drumsticks being that it's hotter down here sorry about the wind guys so let's go ahead and give this a look well i can tell you right now there's some pretty good color there on the uh on the spatchcock chickens here let's go ahead and Take a peek. I just don't want those drumsticks to burn. Oh wow. Those things are looking really good. I was thinking about firing up this Weber here and just do a direct sear. I got it set up ready to go in case I decide to do it, but these things here are looking really good. I'll get you guys a close up here in a second. So let's see here, we're sitting at about 150 it says 105, 160, 160. Let me go around here and check, guys. Again, sorry about the wind. It just started picking up. Let's see here. Let's check some of these bottom ones. 163, 170. Of course, I could be hitting bone there, guys. Okay, 94. So it looks like these bottom ones are about done. Let's see here. I'll just leave them in there a little bit longer because we're like 170. Let me get better here. 150. I'm gonna go ahead and check these here. See 129. Yeah, these got a while to go. So I don't think I'm gonna sear these. I don't think I'm gonna put them on the grill at all. Oh, sorry. Let me get back in the frame here. Yeah. So. These here are about done. I'm going to give these about 10 more minutes and I'm going to go ahead and pull them. Let's see here. Give you guys a look here. I'm going to go ahead and grab one. If I can. Okay. Can you guys see that? This is one of the hot ones. Let's go ahead and get a bite of it. Oh wow, it's hot. <clears throat> yeah, they are good. These are really good. Mm, nice and very spicy too. Mm, 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 mm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this back together and we shall return. All right, everybody, so about 10 minutes has went by. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of the legs off and leave the two birds up on the top and kind of go from there. So let's get this done. Birds are looking good. Chicken legs are looking really good. Let's go ahead and get a quick temp on them. They're sitting at about 180. 182. 180. No, that one said 187. Yeah, we are done here. So I'm going to go ahead and Get those uh, legs off and uh, I shall return. Okay, so what I had done is I took all the legs off and just left the two birds on the top and just cranked this thing wide open. Um, 
Actually, I'm going to close these down halfway because what that'll do is help build heat up at the top where these birds are. The next time I do this, I'm going to put the birds on the bottom and then the wings on the top or the chicken legs on the top. And it would definitely equalize uh, the cook where they can all pretty much get done at the same time. So we're almost an hour and a half in on this cook. These here took about an hour and 10 minutes. And if you look, look at that color. And this is the Sal's, uh, the Root Boy Rub uh, rubs here. I'm going to go ahead and take a bite and see how this tastes. Mm. Instant. Well, that's really good, Sal. I always liked your rubs, man, ever since uh, I bought the first batch from you. Mm. Nice clean off the bone. Even got a nice little smoke ring going on in there. Wow. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Now, I can't wait to try that Cosmo Q's Dirty Bird. That's going to be one of my favorite. I, well, I can't say right now, but I've been dying to try it. I know I'm going to like it. Uh, well, at least I hope so. But there you have it, guys. I will return once these um, Smashcock chickens are done. I'm going to join me a couple of these legs. I'm fantastic. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to show you what the top um, dench reading here. It's, it's pretty close to 325. We come down here. just wanted to show you kind of how even it's cooking. I mean, it's not quite even, but as you can see, it's pretty freaking close. Let's go ahead and get a little peek on these birds. My lens is starting to fog up because it's cold out here and we got the hot there. Hope you guys get a good look at that. There we go. All right, I'm thinking probably about another, oh, I don't know. I'd say about another 15 minutes. I'll check the internal temperatures and we shall return. All right, guys. So all I want to say is I am very close to 500 subscribers. And that's why I'm doing this giveaway. And all you got to do is comment in this video, Root Boy Cooks. That's it. Just put Root Boy Cooks and, of course, leave whatever comment you'd like, how you like the video and everything. But comment below, Root Boy Cooks. And that'll give you a chance to win one uh, Root Boy's uh, Cooks number one and number two rub. So what we're going to do here is wait for these to finish, which shouldn't be too long, and we shall return. All right, everybody. This is the final results. Uh, this here bird has been temped out at internal temps of 180 degrees. As you can see, it's got a nice crispy skin. It's just been sitting here for about maybe five minutes. So let's go ahead and cut into it and see what we got. Well, it's nice and juicy, as you can see. Let's go ahead and cut off this other side. Cuts through like butter. Again, very nice crispy skin. All right, let's go ahead and get a piece of this breast. Get that bone out of there. There we go. And there you have it. Nice juicy chicken on the Cajun Smoky Bandit. Crispy skin. 
Let's go ahead and give this a shot and see what it tastes like. Mm-hmm. Very nice, moist, tender. Let's go ahead and get another piece. Wow. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see that. But wow, I'm telling you right now. Very good. Hey guys, so if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you learned something today. Comment below your thoughts on this cook. Thank you and have a great day. Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. Today I had a subscriber that would like me to do some chicken or any kind of food on this Cajun banded smoker. Nope, that was wrong. Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. Today I am going to be doing two spatchcock turkeys. Yeah. Scratch. <clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. Today we're going to do two spatchcock turkeys. I'm going to leave the two top vents closed because I want the drippings to fall into the fire and come back up to the top of the lid and back down. And, uh oh, hold on a minute. Is that going to work? This isn't. And don't forget to <clears throat> and if you'd like to get on this 500 subscriber giveaway please comment below as I said before root boy cooks is all you have to put in there and I'm fucking this up oh, Jesus Christ oh, I can edit this um Shit! I gotta stop it now. So guys, if you like what you saw, please comment below. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe. Did I already say that? I don't know.